is just a quick video to showcase the Cluster Arrow Spam Demon Hunter. Uh, the build sheet DPS wise is pretty garbage, it doesn't show anything, but that's because everything depends on your Cluster Arrow damage and your fire damage and reducing the costs. So uh, this is just a random 7 sins with decent dex vitality and the main thing is it has reduce, reduce cost for by 6%. Same thing here, except it's clustered arrow damage, uh, fire damage and dex, and also reduced costs. Um, oh, Cinder Coat's one of the main parts. Uh, I was running it before Cinder Coat, like before I dropped it, but I don't know. I guess the game was like, here, have something that you actually really want, and I dropped one. Uh, Cinder Coat's really good because the main stats and it actually makes your fire, which is both cluster arrow and entangling shot deal more, and it also reduces the cost by 25%, which is huge. Uh, deal fire damage, crit chance, you don't need crit damage in this build, it's all about base damage. This is just a random ring. This is one of the main parts that's actually the hardest and most expensive. I'm trying to get a uh, Stone of Jordan with reduced cost of cluster arrow by 5 hatred is uh, pretty hard. I guess a 4 hatred or a 3 hatred would work, but you know, re removing base cost is better than removing percentage. Depends on like how much you have of each. If you happen to have one with a 6% uh, to fire damage, that would be like perfect roll. Um, the other parts of it are cluster arrow boots and a legacy dead man's legacy with cluster arrow by 5. So these are the two parts that you want for cluster arrow damage. I mean cluster arrow resource. Other than that, it's really just a bunch of stuff to keep you alive and bat companion for the increased hatred regen. And then just loaded for bear on cluster arrow. The cool thing is also uh, entangling shot slows and if you're using call of the weak, uh, you know, you deal more damage and it's also fire, so that's good. And uh, yeah, so here's a wretched mother run that one shinobi was showing the other day. By the way, these are still good. I thought they nerfed him, but my buddy ended up dropping like... What is it? He dropped, I think, two? Oh, wait, I didn't restart. Lol. Oh. Yeah, my buddy had a double drop yesterday. I dropped a bunch of stuff. I dropped my Cinder Coat here, so I guess it's still working. The XP is good. There we go. So yeah, this is like, I guess, showcasing the run and the build. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this if I Damn were running, <laughs> what is it, like, if I was running my normal damage stuff, which is this stuff, there is no way I'd be able to run this on 25. So and the funny thing is, my, uh, my all resist is very garbage, but that's okay, because you got everything super fast. Uh, doing something, one second. Oh my god. Something's wrong with Tumble, by the way. If you, like, hold it far away from your monitor, or from the range of Tumble, you, like, stand still. You have to put it like this. This happened after the patch. I don't know what's wrong with it. There you go. Crazy damage output from this build. Instant travel. And, uh, pretty high survivability, considering... You don't actually have to, you know, fight stuff. If it's dying, you kite it. Oh, Ebenezer. This guy's really good. This guy drops most of my stuff. As you can see, my hatred cost of hungering arrow is about 10 hatred. And that's insane, considering it's at 40 originally. Go. He drops three items. Fortunately, no legendaries this time. Check the scarecrow because I got a legendary plan off that. There you go. There's a rare. Nothing there. Let's see what's in here. Usually Sarkoth, one of the named mobs, is in here. Nothing. Not gonna fight those guys. Not worth it unless you want the XP. But I'd rather do this for the drops. 
So yeah, running Call of the Weak Archery and... I think... Night Stalker? I'll check in a second. Oh, up in there. Usually that cave, uh, what is it, that cellar over there might drop, might have a goblin, or an elite, or both, or a bunch of chests. As you can see, she has 45 million HP and she melts. So even if your sheet DPS says 230, it's not really 230. And yeah, that's basically the build. I mean, the main issue is you gotta get the uh, SOJ and the Dead Man's Legacy. Dead Man's Legacy is pretty cheap, it's just really hard to search for in the auction house. I have to literally sit there for two hours and find all these things. These I found. I think of this, I've, no, this I actually crafted. Yeah, I had to craft a lot. I think I crafted like 120 amulets to get this. So, it costs a bit on, like, crafting, but other than that, you should be fine.